Uh, let's move to Sunday's Israeli airstrikes on Damascus Airport. That's a big story, Yossi. We can agree. Destroying an Iranian missile shipment. Let's have a look at what Netanyahu uh, tweeted. He wrote, uh, not a bad achievement. In 24 hours, Netanyahu managed to take off from one airport. Chad land in a second Tel Aviv, open a third Ramon, and renovate a fourth Damascus. Uh, now, Russia's foreign minister is demanding that Israel stop these arbitrary strikes. That's what the Russian foreign ministry calls it. And the ambassador here told our Tracy Alexander, host of Perspectives, that the strikes themselves were because of the election. Now, after the, each strike, each move, there is a statement uh, at the very, very high level. And uh, in our minds, it's uh, very much... Uh, connected with the uh, election campaign in, in, here in, the, in this country. Yossi Yonah, so here we have Netanyahu coming under attack. One, for authorizing the airstrikes. Two, for taking credit for the airstrikes. How much of this is politics and how much do you think he's doing genuinely for the no. security of the state of Israel? A lot of it is politics. How uh, much? Unfortunately. Uh, Let's I draw mean, some well, lines. Like, to put it 70%. Because, look, I mean, uh, Israel's policy vis-a-vis -vis, uh, the airstrikes... Politics, were the airstrikes no, no, election? Not, I'm not talking about the airstrikes itself. It might be that it is needed. I'm not an expert on that. So we're talking about but the, I'm the, talking credit, about the public pu trolling. Publicizing sorry. that because they, I mean, the Russians to a certain extent were acquiescing with our involvement uh, in, in Syria and trying to decrease or to eradicate uh, Iranian uh, uh, influence uh, in uh, Syria. But then it was done silently under the table so there is no need to brag about that there is no need to say in your face and i do believe that it is done oh, because of the upcoming uh, elections because netanyahu wants to portray himself as mr security and i think that actually he's jeopardizing and undermining our vital national interest and this reckless behavior mm -hmm. ruthie is there any advantage in terms of international relations and Netanyahu's security to post that message making fun yeah. and mocking Syria? What is it? No, not the issue of mocking, but if we're talking about so, the airstrikes so that, so, and well, taking so wait, credit. No, no. The airstrikes are one thing, let's agree, the airstrikes are national security, but the taking credit and, and joking that he renovated Damascus airport, I mean, yes. that's, that, that's meat to a political well, base, look, right? I'm not an expert on these social media um, sort no, of let's talk about social media. No, no, no. Not social media. Iran this is messaging. This is, this, no, this no, no, no. Messaging. But this is, this is messaging. The this messaging, is mocking but Syria. I think it is important to um, fight a psychological war as well. And Netanyahu, especially now that America announced that it's leaving Syria, Netanyahu has got to not, has got, it's not just that he's uh, uh, conducting these strikes, which are clearly necessary, but um, his policy to change that am ambiguity, which is also no longer necessary in the age of the internet, is um, is a way of saber-rattling in the direction of Tehran, which is important. Enad? It's important to understand that Russia actually enjoys these strikes. They do speak against them, but Russia does want Iran out of Syria at the end, and the person who so wants... this is fake news from Russia's direction oh, to say that it opposes it. and Assad wants Iran out of Syria at the end. So there's a lot of multiple... But in interests. the end, maybe in a very long time, he needs but in the, meantime, the Iranian soldiers there on the ground. Israel keep the pressure serves Russian interests, serves... Syrian interests. So there's a lot of multiple plays here that when Netanyahu allows himself to kind of make a snide remark, not against the Syrians, against the Iranians, uh, he knows that he's playing a multiple level game here where it's not clearly that the enemy is on one side. Okay, so as far as you understand, actually, the Russians, even though they say no more arbitrary strikes, they're quite happy for it to carry on. Yossi, do you think that Israel needs to pay attention to the Russian warnings about Syria, or do you agree this is just spin, let's there carry on? There cooperation with the Russians and I don't think that it can be uh, sort of given up on. Okay, but, but the Russians are saying stop these airstrikes. So, you know, if so, Mr. Gabay is Prime uh, Minister, does he say, sir, yes, no, sir, no more airstrikes? Following my friend here, Anat uh, was saying, so it needs a bit of deciphering about the uh, real intentions of the Russians. And if these analysis, which, which sounds very reasonable, uh, then it is okay with the Russians that, they, that actually it agrees with their interests. So it might be the case that, that the Russians, you know, just saying it hypocritically, well, stop it, but nonetheless, they are, have very happy with this development. Well, we'll find out. But again, I'm not, I cannot say it was full confidence. We'll find out soon. Uh, Ruthie Bloom, Yossi Yona, and I will.